when you get a shot, do you kind of know it when you get it? Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you kinda, even without the, even like looking at the camera, you kind of know it. Yeah, you do. Yeah, because it's that feeling that where before you see a shot, you just think, okay, well, this is this is good. That's the reason why you take the shots. Hey there, welcome everybody to the latest edition of Street Badass 10. I'm here with Gavin Robinson. How are you doing, Gavin? Hi, how you doing? Hey, I appreciate you taking the time to do a 10 here with me this evening. Um, let me ask you first, before we start, um, you're coming to us this evening from um, London? Yeah, well, yeah, London. I live in Surrey, but I am from London. So, so yeah. London, London area. Okay. Hey, when you... Uh, selected your 10 did you find that process difficult easy how was that for you um not so difficult because the 10 that i selected on my i enjoyed when i done them if that made sense and yeah they they're the ones in my heart so um i mean yeah i do have other shots which i think could have gone in there as well not trying to boost my ego make my head any big bigger but um yeah, those 10, they're, they're the ones that I really think about and feel that if I had an exhibition, I'll want them out. You'd want to have these 10 in there? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hey, let me ask you another question. Now, as far as when you shoot, when you get a shot, do you kind of know it when you get it? Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you kind of, even without the, even like looking at the camera, you kind of know it when you got it, don't you? Yeah, you do, yeah. Because it's that feeling that where before you see a shot, you just think, okay, well, this is this is good. That's the reason why you take the shot, I suppose, you know. And yeah, yeah, 100%. Well, you've definitely got the eye for it, that's for sure. So let's go ahead without any further ado here and go to your your first shot here, Gavin. Hey, so what can you tell us about this shot? Yeah, so this was when I first sort of started to this uh, photography business. Um and it was actually taken on a Samsung Galaxy S3 um, at my friend's rave in Hackney. So this place had like a, um, it was a, there was like a rave going on, and there was this pool table, two pool tables. So I came out the toilets and I saw the pool table. And I, this shot, by the way, is not edited whatsoever. Wow. And that's that's my point. That's why I love this shot so much. So when I came out, I saw these guys by the pool table. I was thinking, oh, that's really good light. Um, so I got the phone out, and there's a few shots of them, of course, like you know, either side of the table. But then they started like you know hugging each other, and they did that, and I thought, well, that's perfect. And what I love about it is that you know it's black and white. Um, you can't see the faces, you know, it's just these hat arms embracing each other, and even the white ball is there, dead in you know where it should be on the pool table. So it looks sort of like set up in a way, um, but it is totally not that and it's not edited whatsoever it's just a straight shot from the samsung galaxy s3 it's amazing um, that you got that on on your on your cell phone yeah i think because of camera on that phone it's not brilliant in dark light i think that's why it came out like that Does that make sense it didn't oh, pick yeah, up anything. Absolutely. so it just picked up this light coming out on the sport table and they're them two there so you can't even see like the guy's face probably unless you really zoom in you can see the guy the black his face so um but yeah just yeah just a really great shot that i you know yeah, enjoy doing well done i appreciate that yes. one thing about this picture when i was looking at it mm. it's almost you know you, you wonder what the story is i guess when you told me it's a rave yeah that i get it because people are kind of huggy at raves like yes, oh, yes, you, yeah. man, you know this kind of yeah. stuff but if if you didn't have the rave backstory to it you'd almost kind of feel like well you know you probably shouldn't gamble on pool <laughs> yes. you're going to lose all your money but it, it, I mean there's a lot I, I love the green the green yeah. really pops on it yeah. and the white it yeah it's just crazy it's crazy that that's a cell phone picture yeah well it's done. Nice. Yeah, well done all right let's yeah. go to the next one here Gavin here we go all right so what can you tell us about this is this part of a series or anything like that yeah so this is from um uh it's a lot of don't know the titles for it's um looking up at Big Ben, first sight, Big Ben, first contact. I don't know which one to call it, but it is looking up at Big Ben. So when people come out of Westminster Station, which you can see the um, Westminster sign, 
um, they see Big Ben straight away, and some it takes them by surprise because it's not something that you expect to come out and see when you come out of a station. And um, so it's from a series of that. And yeah, I've got this lady coming out, and yeah, um, you, I could sort of see when she was coming out of the station that this could be a good shot. Um, you know, the dress is high, I think she's and the steer poach. And I knew that she might be looking up because sometimes they don't look up, but sometimes you can, can gather if they will or not, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, when she came out, took the shot, took two shots actually, which I've got on Instagram. I think this one's a better version. Um, and what I like about it is. It, it's a light that comes down on her, which is a natural light, um, which gives it that cinematic feel. And she's got that face for that cinematic um, uh, feel, if you get what I mean from that. Um, yeah, it, almost, it does almost look like a like a scene from a movie. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You can hear like an orchestra going on in the background. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, so, the yeah. The name of the movie, Big Ben. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big Ben strikes again. <laughs> So, yes, I mean, yeah, what I like about the Big Bang series is it is all natural light. You know, you don't have to use no flash or anything like that. It's a good sun trap. And that's why I initially went there for a sun trap. But then I realized people are coming out and um, being amazed at Big Bang's right there. So it turned into that series. And I think this one is actually one of the best ones from it. For, from it. Great shot. I love the red. I'm, I'm yeah. always a sucker for red, Gavin. Yeah. Every time I see red, I'm like, oh, thank you for taking that picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it comes out nice, man. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Thank you very much for that, Gavin. All right, so what can you tell us about this dapper individual? Yeah, so um, this is by Liverpool Street, um, where near the station. Um, and yeah, that day, I remember this is when I first started out as well. I think it was like 2016 or 15. And um, that day, I remember I was walking out for ages and I was just had nothing. And I was just about to cut through and I saw, I saw, yeah, I just saw them two having a wall. I saw the guy in a hat um, going towards that wall and I thought, well, this is going to be good. So I took the shot really quickly and yeah, this came out. Um, and what, what I like about it is, you know, you have the classic on the right hand side and you have the normal individual on the left hand side both doing what they're doing, not even knowing that, you know, the other one's on the other side. and gives that sort of story of, you know, two different um, people doing their own thing. Um, but that individual in the hat is really unique, you know, so it gives it even more of a uh, punch. So, yeah, one of my favourite shots there. It's, uh, it's fun to run into these kind of individuals. And I think the city like London is is a good place for that kind of thing. Maybe this kind of individual is kind of dapper. Yeah, kind of individual more than I think New York City. Yeah, yeah, true. That is true. Uh, with him, he's um a hat seller. Um, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's a hat seller or something like that. Just around, there's a little market around the corner from there, and um, he's been photographed quite a few times. That fellow. Um, I've seen him in other people's uh, shots, but yeah, it's still that you know, you are is that London and that English dapper look that you won't get anywhere else. And and I tell you, it's it's a cool shot, and I tell you, it's very difficult to pull a hat like that off. So yeah, it's true. That. Yeah. It's it, it's worth a picture for sure because if you put a hat like that on me, then you, you know everybody would be kind of giggling and you know, kind of <laughs> yeah. I I cannot pull yeah. a hat off like that. Sure. So great shot. Well, I appreciate. You. What's that, Gavin? Well, I was say, so what I like as well is um the guy. The normal guy, you know, he's light. He's all bright coming from his side, you know, with the street. And then the dapper guy's got the dark with the wall. And it gives that two different sides, you know. It means like a big picture um, in one. But, yeah, yeah. Almost like two times separated. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the olden days versus modern days. Yeah, yeah, totally that. Totally that. And then we just don't wear hats like we used to, except for Danny, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Guy, right? That's true. I appreciate it. Let's go to the next one here. So what can you tell? I got a, I got a, you know, an inkling what city this is. But it's not Paris. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is New York on the um, Empire States building. Um, I went there in 2017. And yeah, the best summer, the best summer of my life. And yeah, this picture came out. So um, we went up there and I was hoping to get a good picture from up there to the truth. I really wanted something good. And I had a feeling I could get something good. And by chance, these two coppers came up 
Um, we were there for about half an hour and we were about to leave. So, um, so they came up and um, yeah, I, was, I followed them around, took some pictures of them. And then they both went out to have a look over the city. And that's when I took this picture from behind. I mean, behind shots, I know they're a bit of a stigma sometimes in street photography, which I do get. But I think with this one, it gives it a tell because, you know, you've got two copies. You can just about see the one in front of them and they're overlooking the city that they, you know, they oversee. Um, and I think it's just, yeah, for me, I thought it's just a fantastic um, story and picture behind Fort New York. Yeah, what a view, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. So, yeah, it's one of my, definitely one of my favorite from the New York um, when I went to New York. And it really takes you there. I mean, it, it, it's obviously when you see the city, you recognize New York, but with the, the police as, police officer there with his hat and everything like that, yeah. it's like, there it is, New York, boom, right there. Yeah. I like I like the lady taking a picture down here in the corner yeah. as well, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gives it that more of a, you know, it's normal uh, shots in a way. And, you know, it's, it's really interesting to see, like, even police who, you know, they live there, you know, they work there, and they still come up to on the, in the building and, have a look, you know, to see a scene, you know, yeah, it's kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point, because you wonder, like, what kind of police work do they have up there? Yeah, yeah. It's going up there, that maybe they're hiding out. Yeah. <laughs> they won't find us for a couple hours up here. <laughs> Never know. Great shot. Appreciate nice. that, Gavin. Cheers. All right, let's go to the next one here. Yellow. So what can you tell us about this shot, my friend? So this is um, in Barbados um, a few years back as well. Uh, this, so this is in Bridgetown, the main capital of uh, Barbados. And they have like a bus terminal there. Um, where, yeah, bus terminal and other terminals for other um, transportation. So it was the end of school time. And um, I noticed that they would, this is a, so, I noticed that school children were jumping onto buses like how they are now here. So, when this bus came along and they jumped going onto it, I thought I'd need to at least get something. And I did, I got this shot basically of kids jumping onto the bus through the windows, <laughs> um, which I found really funny because as a school kid, I think that's what all, we all like to do, you know. Absolutely. Do, uh, yeah, so yeah, I just say, yeah, I just think it's a, well, it gives a story, of, especially with the guy, they're just getting into the window and, you know, everyone jumping on, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. It's like instant nostalgia. And you know if you were that age, that's exactly where you'd want to go in. Right? Yeah, exactly. You know, you'd be like, yeah, no, I don't I don't use the door, I do windows, man. <laughs> yeah. You impress all the girls. Absolutely. <laughs> and and the dude yeah, looking no. at you like what's what's he taking a picture of? Are we getting in trouble? Because they're not they're not a hundred percent sure. It almost kind of gives gives that kind of like, well, maybe we're allowed to do this, but maybe not. Yeah, yeah. Because he's kind of <laughs> looking back at you. Yeah, it does a little bit. I can't remember what he actually looked at me too true, but um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but basically, yeah, that was that was um, that was good. That was good. Did you have a good time out out there in Barbados? Always, yeah, always. You cannot never have a good time in that country. <laughs> it's one of those places. Huh? Yeah, 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 it's <laughs> the good time starts once you get off the plane. Maybe exactly a little that. bit before, right? Yeah, exactly that. Very nice. Yes. Appreciate that. Cheers. Here's one of my favorite shots of yours right here. So can you tell us where this is? So it's um in Piccadilly Circus, London. This is yeah. So with this um always wanted to, to um always wanted to have a good shot around that that statue at Pink. I always wanted a good shot there. This is when I first started out as well in 2016. It's a year into it or so. Um street photography and so with these guys, um, they're Gurkhas, uh, younger Gurkhas, and I followed them from Leicester Square, which is um, not too far from Piccadilly Circus, mm -hmm. to this to this um, to this area because uh, they look unique, you know, all in uniform. Like what's all that? About? You know, you know, they just looked interesting. And um, yeah, so they all sat down and um, got their mobile phones out. And it's like it was like the first time they were looking at mobile phones, like the way they had a, you know had a break and could do what they want on these phones. Um, but I suppose being Gurkhas, you know, it's a very strict to regime that they have, which is an army. Gurkhas are the army. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so um, I took two or three shots of these guys, and this one came out the best. And yeah, it's, it is. I do. It is a 
classic shop off that area, I think. Um, because each one's, you know, doing their own little different thing. You've got this guy who's sort of in the middle, just sitting down there, you know, relaxed and, you know, taking it all on. And yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, everybody is doing something just a little bit different. There's so many different expressions. Yeah. Those guys, I, I understand that those guys are badasses too. Yeah, they are. Like you wouldn't want to mess with those guys. Like no, the training no, that no, they no. go through, everything no. like that. Not at all. Not at all. So, yeah, they do. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like, yeah, like I said before, like the way that they are going through their phones, it's like, it, was, it was quite funny actually when I was looking at them. I was like, wow, these guys are you know, really going through this. Um, so, yeah, so I took the shot as well. But I was very happy that I got a good shot around that area, which I always wanted. Well done, my friend. Thank you very much. Okay, so here's the next one. Gavin, so what can you tell us about these girls and their balloons? So, um, yeah, so this one, this is actually my favorite, my favorite one I think I've ever done so far, anyway. Um, and this is at Carnival in 2019. And so I just got into Carnival. We just walked into the main area, um, the main strip. And um, I was walking along with my partner and I saw these two girls with the balloons so before they're doing what they're doing now. And I went out and I said to my partner, let me just quickly go there and take a picture of these two because they look quite, you know, they're both the same outfit in a way. They've got these two blue balloons. And um, yeah, so I went over and I took the shot bush just like that. And um, yeah, it came out, came out very good. I was very happy when I saw the picture. Um, but I don't think they were too impressed when I did take the shot because I they, they, um, if people don't know about these balloons, they're like laughing gas, but it gets people sort of high. Um, they're quite popular here in England, uh, and you see them all over with like um, silver canisters left over because that's where they get the gas from into the balloon. Okay. So I've taken them when they're halfway through. It's like you know, taking it in, <laughs> and that's why I've got this. You've got this look of like, whoa. But for me, you know, it's horrible, so I don't really care. <laughs> Yeah, I saw um, some of those guys at Carnival when I was there this year. Yeah, there was a lot of a lot of balloons out there, and I, mm. I kind of figured they call that in, in Europe they call it Luffy, or at least they used to. They call it Luffy. They go if you went to a rave, there'd be yeah. some some character hanging out with like this big thing, like doing balloons and selling them. You know, this kind of thing. Oh, yeah. That's that's a killer shot. I love yes. I love the fact that it's got Karl Marx walking to her behind it. Yeah, it's something else, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a war sort of feel. Um, it's just good like, with their, you know, they've got the tattoos. You know, they, they look similar, but they're not similar. You look at the eye, the eye um, lashes and, you know, the colours there. It's, it's, yeah, it's, I like it. You know, one's in front of the other. It gives it that depth as well. And and you, the eyes do give it away as well. So, yeah, for me, it's, it is my favourite shot. It's it's so funny how they're they're similar but not exactly the same because if you, when you first look at it it's almost like you were to, you got in there and colored them but obviously yes. they got to get they got together you know with each other beforehand and and did the painting you know the eyes and, and the head yes. you know but I yes. love that shot they have the same tops on too don't they yeah yeah they do yes yes yeah and that's that's what i'm saying so what, that's what caught me like I, was, I saw them over in the corner and we left them behind i was like, oh so i had to actually run towards them i remember that so not one but a little jog a little sprint and then take the shot and then go um so yeah yeah this, well I, done I do. my friend i love that shot sure. all righty so what can you tell us about these masked people so this is on the same day in Carnival, actually, in 2019. Um, yeah, these these guys, yeah, they, I saw them again on the main strip later on during that day and I took a picture of them, about three or four pictures, one I posted on Instagram uh, a few years back, but this one I only recently posted. Um, but, yeah, this this is just, it just says what it is, really. You know, they're dancing, they've got these uh, pink um, head uh, covers on and makes them stand out even more. And that's how I notice them straight away. So when they start doing the dancing, I thought, okay, I need to get inside. I need to get you know into this. And that's a good thing about carnival, you know, you can really get into the mix and people don't really mind it. People don't mind you really taking pictures in carnival. It's not a thing where it's like, oh, what are you doing? Uh, most of the time it's yeah, fine. They, they even pose for the camera. You know, it's one of those things that you might have experienced when you went there. And so with this, you know, I just got down, really down. And got the angle which I wanted from her and him, and you know, doing it whining. And uh, yeah, 
came out like that. There's some funky business in that shot right there. Man. Yeah. Those, those masks are so so nutty. Yeah, pink, the pink mask is like just off off the charts. Yeah, and it's and you got one of those floats behind there. Yeah, that's right. That's one of the floats I was playing the music. So people people don't know like in Carnival we have different floats which play different music and people follow that float. Um, so that's what's happening while the float moves moves along the main road. That Excuse Carnival me. is crazy. It was crazy, Gavin, when I went there yeah. and I saw you there. Like, I couldn't believe how many people were there. Yeah. I, I've been to some big street parties before, but there, this, there's nothing. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, it's put on. I, it, I think it's, it's actually on. like we have some big festivals here I've been to or in the States, rather. And this was just next level. It was crazy. I couldn't. Yeah. Believe. There's so many people there. Your phone doesn't even work. Phones are just like well, that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, a, that's a problem there, and the toilets as well is not a great thing. But I love yeah, hunting. that's tough. That's the that's the other thing. Yeah, you, you, get, right. you know that that's a that's an issue. Yeah. All right, thanks, man. Great shot. Thank you. Can, we, can you tell us about this guy here? So this is um from the Speakers Corner um series that I've been doing for many years now, and um, this one was, I think was in 2018ish, I think. And yeah, so this is what ha what's, what's happening is, of course, um, there's quite a few um, people, Muslim, Muslims who do attend, along with Christians. But when it's a uh, time for prayer, the Muslims do do what they're doing there. Um, although Hyde Park has stopped that from happening and they're not allowed to do it in the park. They can only do it outside of the park. Um, so this is before that ban. And um, so I saw... The guy who's lying down, he's with these two, he's with two ladies, and they were having a picnic. And he was lying, he decided to lie down and they were doing their but start doing their prayers. So I thought, well, this is quite funny, because he just continues to lie down. He's not even bothered about them doing what they're doing. They're not bothered about him. And um took the shot. And yeah, it's yeah, it gives it a good story. Yeah. <laughs> That guy just lay in there is crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's sort of like um, I mean, everyone has that stereotypical view of what God will look like, and you know, this white guy with grey hair. <laughs> <laughs> so you got him lying down with glasses and they're praying to him. That's that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, um, I mean, if, if without knowing the story, it's like, what the hell is going on? That sort of picture, you know, what is going on? Why is Jesus lying there like that? But that's what was happening. He was having a bit. Yeah. He's just lying down and then they're doing their prayers. Well done, my friend. Wow. So tell me what's going on here. Cheers. This is um again carnival. This is this year. This year's carnival. Um the day I met you. Um and this is further up into not where the, the floats are, but into the other areas um in that grove. So I was walking along and um I saw her coming and the reason why I took it actually is because I've taken taken the previous picture of um, a lady in, in the costumes holding a mobile phone and a drink, and that came out pretty well. So when I saw, it, I thought, let me just do another one like that and see that comes out, and it came out like this. Um, so yeah, it's just fantastic. I showed I showed it to her; she liked it, and um, yeah, that was it. She smiled and doing that picture, just looked like she's smiling. You know, she looks quite miserable, but she's not. Um, Give me some attitude. Yeah. <laughs> But it's, yeah, um, and I mean, I've been told that it looks like an angel coming down from the clouds, and it does actually do look like that. Absolutely. The, the, the dark sky, clouds. too, man. Yeah. And it's it's the, the, the pop with the flash, and then yeah. the sky is absolutely ideal for it, because it yeah, kind of has, like, the same attitude. The sky kind of has the same attitude as she does, right? It does, yeah, it's exactly that, and that's what gives it that, you know, um, and it's, it, it's normalized with her with the mobile phone and the drink. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what I like about it. That always gives it that, you know, natural feel, a mobile phone and a drink in your hand. That's um, right, because that's how we party nowadays. Well, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was the first sort of, so, I mean, it's, like, it's the first sort of time I use, say, a flash as well. So usually I use a flash on my phone, not my phone, on my um, camera. But I've mm -hmm. got another separate flash, which I use, which I did. Um, do the motion off on top, you know. So uh, that's why you got it coming down into a face, which came out pretty well. So well. you do kind of one of these up in the air a little bit. Yeah, it's done it in the air, and 
it yeah, just came up came up good. It came, yeah, it came good. out very dramatic like that. That angle yeah. was perfect. Yeah. So and yeah, the colors work so well together too. You've got the blue, and then you've got that mm. like kind of almost orange yellow of the drink that matches the feathers. Yeah, which then goes into a skin, like the brown skin as well. That it's mm. yeah, the, yeah it's, it's good contrast. And that white phone is perfect too. Yeah, and her dress. That good. dress is nuts. Yes, yeah, that's, that's amazing, man. Thank you. In fact, that was in the. Uh, the street badass scene, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yes, yes, it was. Yeah. Very, very honored to have that shot in there. Thank you very much, my friend. Thanks. Hey, so Gavin, I appreciate you taking the time to go through your 10. Um, it's interesting no to, to see the beginning shot and then kind of the end shot. And the end shot was kind of like where you're at today, too. So it was interesting to see the progression. Um, any kind of plans in the future, photography-wise? Any kind of trips you're thinking about taking, or anything um, like that? Not really. Um, to tell you the truth, uh, at the moment, because I'm with, I have a child now, so that takes away all my time. So I don't even go out and do street walks or anything like that. Um, even Speaker's Corner, I go there like once every two months. So it's it's quite rare now for me to actually do anything. Um, but I do want to go to like New York again, definitely, and Barbados again. So that. You know, that'd be my next big thing, really. Um, but, yeah, I've come out with that, the corner um, scene. So that was that done pretty well. And I'll maybe come out of a carnival one. Oh, that and, would be great. I'd love to see that. Yeah, and possibly and the Big Ben one as well, just get that all organised. Um, but, yeah, to see what, ever, see what happens in the future. There's nothing really planned, but I'm sure something will come. Well, you're in the city for it. If you want to get out there, you're right there by a Speaker's Corner. Plus, I mean, London's just amazing. It is one of the great. I think that it's top, you know, top five for street photography for sure. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't question that at all. Yeah, New York, London, definitely are the two top two for you know, because you know they're very varied and abstract, different cultures in them. And London definitely has a lot of cultures. You got everything in London, man. Plus, you got lots of foot traffic. And yeah. You got lots of attitude, lots of weird styles. Like, you just yeah. got everything going on there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm quite blessed to actually live here. And, but, you know, I'm sure like, I live in Manchester, so you always get good stuff as well. But, yeah, when you've got a five minute city, yeah, it's quite blessed to live here. And... Absolutely. Well, thanks yeah. very much, Gavin. I appreciate you taking time once again. And it's been an honor to have you on here and, and go Cheers. through your time. I appreciate it as well. Thank you for the opportunity. Man. My pleasure. Let me go ahead and shut off the recording here real quick. Always ask me. <laughs>